Hello, welcome back to the Knife of Dunwell DLC. We've already completed chapter one. It's right up there. Apologies for the lighting. I'm in the process of moving. Let's get straight into it. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Hmm. Barrister Arnold Timps paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman born rich and now he was making a second fortune seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent but Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece something to do with the family fortune Lurk was probably right we needed to speak with the niece first her feud with the old barrister was something we could use I got a message to the barrister's niece and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. New upgrades available. The blueprints you found unlock these upgrades. Okay. Awesome. Let's look at our upgrades. First, Rispo Accuracy, Range, Reload, Sleep Dark Capacity, thank you! We didn't get that in the other one with Corvo. Okay, we have $1,133, okay. Um, a friend will leave a rune by the ruined bridge, yes. Of course, 150. Woohoo! While oil delivery, there will be some conveniently placed whale oil tanks. No, I don't. I'm not going to get that. We don't have much money. Increases sleep down capacity by three. Okay. Bolt capacity. Ooh, yes. Wrist bow. Accuracy. Mm. Bone charm capacity. Okay. Mm. What can we buy? We can't buy elixir. Oh my god, we don't have any Piero. What the fuck? Alright. We have zero bolts too. Oh my god, we have nothing! Oh my god. Start mission. Delilah once painted portraits for barrister Arnold Timish, a corrupt aristocrat who uses his legal powers to evict families from their homes and claim property for the Lord Regent. Based on false accusations of plague, barrister Timish's niece Talia hates him. She has promised to help you locate Delilah for a price. Meet with Talia to find out what she knows. Ooh. Pick up your rune near the ruined bridge. One more body should matter, right? Talia should be waiting in Trevor's close. It's an alley just past the wall of light. Okay. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. Trouble before it starts, the way the barrister likes it. I hear General Turnbull's coming to inspect. Going to make the whole city run like this. It's about time. Shit. Five sleep darts. Fuck. They're gonna see me, I reckon, if I go up there. Alright. Ooh, I could. I could have. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Ah, oh, lucky. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. He did how I can't see anyone with my eye. How I move things. It makes things so difficult. Alright. 
I, I'm too scared to go up top because I feel like they're gonna see me. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, no, he's no, gonna. Shit, that. okay. Alright. Oh my god, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn around. Fuck. Oh, shit. Can I stop it, please? Alright, there's people. Oh, shit. I want to take care of these guys. Where can I put him? Shit. Fuck! Oh. I thought that ship alarm was the alarm. <laughs> I thought they saw me. Shit. What happened? Whacked in the head? Uh, Alright. Probably rats into everything. Fuck, no. Fuck. Oh, I'll find you. Guards, to me. Ha! I'll find you, you yeah. fish. Run! Fire! Burr. Hit the alarm! Where did you come from? Why are the sleep darts working? I love how they just spawn. You know, they just spawn. Okay. Alright. Can they see me if I go up there? Oh my god. <laughs> it's electrified, okay? <laughs> yes, here it is. Woohoo! I think we're gonna we have to get this. We have to get this. Uh, we need to be able to see people. Yeah, alright. Assassin's note. As requested. Thank you. Oh, look at all these people. Slip dots. That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. I need to kill people so they can just disappear because if I sleep dart one, they're all gonna see, you know? Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Shut up. Can I get in here? Yes. Alright. How many do we have now? Seven. Alright. Um. Let's just do it. Bring the alarm! No. Hey, what was no! Should be in the alleyway past here. Talia. Up here? Fuck off, rats. Oh, yes, I need resources. I don't have anything. Sorry.
If I were you, I would strongly consider leaving while you still can. Really? Where do you live? Probably some mansion on Clavering, right? Come on, let's have it. Or I start cutting. I'm telling you now, walk away. Go home. You're making a mistake. Oh yeah? How so? I'm here to meet a man named Dowd. <laughs> the great assassin? Oh, I'm really quaking in my boots now. I got the proper stain in my britches. Tell me, why would he meet with a lady like you? Because I'm hiring him to kill a person. And I'm paying him a lot of money. Money you will never see because you'll soon be gasping for breath on the end of Dowd's blade. Shut up. That ain't true. Isn't it? Your fear is obvious. You reek of it. <laughs> there you go. Get him, boys. <laughs> really? Come on. I didn't know there were other people here. I'm gonna stop you in the river if I cut you open. Where's the other one? Oh, I killed him. Okay. Look at you. The master assassin. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so we won't tell you anything. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. Okay. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And Copper I'll pay spoon. you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. Eliminate Barrister Arnold Timnish. Timnish. Oh shit! That was that was close. Oh, what's this place? Yes, six liter. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Making it impossible for me to complete my assassination. Got this guy. Oh, Where really? Is... This guy here. Ah. Ooh. Had a house key. Okay, so where those guys live? To do list: loot that one place, get even with Craxton. Chauncey took that key we nicked from the watch as he's trying to loot some lawyer types houses. He went cat burgling around the balconies and ain't come down yet. Better see what happened and get that key back. Brush my teeth this way. <laughs> is this harder than the base game? I do find that that is a bit of a trend that goes on in games. The DLCs tend to be harder than the base game. Or is it just me? Am I just being impatient? I don't know. I, I don't know why we're still doing a chaos system right now. I mean, I guess, it, no, it does make sense because of the rats, you know? It's to, because the more people you kill, the harder it is. So yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. Yes, oh my god, we need this. We need this. Yes. Oh, this powerful irritant can be thrown, creating a noxious cloud. Affected, affected enemies will be temporarily blinded and disabled. Cool. Yes. 
take less damage from falls. I don't really fall. All right, you find ammo in greater amounts. Potions give you moderately more mana, yes. Take less damage from falls. All right, drinking. We'll do the drinking one. Where's the outsider? The captain locked up the Shit. District. Fuck. We don't Shit. need any more burglaries. Better keep his eye on the hatters are like the yes. Alright. Woo! The hatters may have the key to the legal district. Cool. Woo! Yes. Here we go. Two of five. Killing rats gives you more adrenaline. Yeah. Oh my god. We got a prowl run. Fuck. Um <sighs> If he comes back, I'll earn another Bring the alarm! No. Oh my god. Spin up the alarm! No! Sound the alarm! Where the fuck did you go? Great. Great. No. Oh, fuck you. All right. Fuck it. Whatever. What now? Nothing. I've got. I've gotten away. Missing keynote. Cap. Looks like the hatters broke in and took the key to the legal district. I'm going to go knock some heads. P. Turn your alarm off. Shit. Look at them all. What does that do? I know you're here. Got you oh now. my god. Oh. Alright. Don't trip over your friends. Oh my god, cut my heart. Fuck no. Two more soft gloves left. Fuck. Ooh. Alright, we're done. Again. Look at what you made me do. Safe. Oh, and that combo. Cool. Can I grab it, please? No. Open. Yes. Thank you. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Two of seven. Oh, we have one. Alright, um, maybe we should do Vitality. Yeah, we should just do it. At level 2 you regenerate more health faster. Okay. You have an extended health bar. Ooh, what's that? I want to read the note. Cap took the key. If you need it, good luck. He's down the street at the Elms house. Unlock. Travel to the legal district. Dowd. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. A 
is an outpost on a rooftop overlooking the legal plaza which contains information and supplies. Lieutenant Billy Lurk will be there once she's done scouting. Timish estate and law officers sit at the head of a wide plaza that marks the centre of the legal district. Yes. Your max health has been slightly increased. Yes. Okay, so we'll get rid of the water one. We'll get tough skin. The watchmen have taken a suspicious person captive. He's possibly an old associate of Timish. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Timish, right? What's the next address? Crow's Court off Brambley Street. But there's a problem, sir. Forest dolls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. I don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop and we'll go in that way. Start tallying the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir... I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each is another useless pack of aristocratic sots and their precious offspring. And I don't care if they all end up mudlarks. Sir, they've been good to me. Simmons, before I worked for Barrister Timsh, I was dredging out the real weeper dens. You ever done that? Ever broken down a door and bathed in that stench? Fought housewives with blood on their faces, swinging at you with a piece of broken furniture? Other times it's just rats inside, hundreds of them, stripping some drunk to the bone. Maybe you'd like to be transferred to my old squad. No, sir. Certainly not. I used to call myself Brave Simmons, till I saw a man lose a fight with a pile of rats. Mm -hmm. So when Barrister Timsh says all I gotta do is rough up a rich bastard, cuff him a few times till he stops talking about his rights, I jump at the chance. Yeah. I cry with happiness. You understand me? Yes, sir. We'll approach from the back stoop. They won't be alarmed when they see me. Right. Good man. It's them or us. No room for heroes in the time of plague. You just do your job and I'll make sure you keep this posting. I really like that. I like that a lot. That was really good. <laughs> You know, it humanizes them a bit, you know, it makes you understand where they're coming from. They're not just villains for the sake of being villains. I like that. Alright, um down. I don't have a reward we have never gotten can't do that. Oh yes, here we go. Awesome. All right. Yeah, it's nice. <gasps> There's a room. Oh. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Right, we should have one now, I think. Yeah, we have one. All right. What should we do next? Should we do summon assassin? It's only one. I feel like it's a, uh, it's specific for this DLC, so I feel like we should do it. Um, yeah, alright, we'll do it. As Dowd, summon allies to join you in combat. Hold left trigger to target a location or an enemy. Release L trigger to summon an assassin ally. Your assassin ally will choose the nearest enemy and attack. If you targeted the enemy, the assassin will attack that character first, then move to the other nearby enemies. If the assassin is summoned with nobody nearby to attack, he will stick around for a while before disappearing. Awesome. Well, that's really good. Um, that kind of reminds me a bit of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood a little bit. 
Um, yeah, I liked that game. I thought that was a good. I thought that was a good Assassin's Creed before it all went to shit. You know, the old school Assassin's Creeds. Regular. That's unusual. What's the occasion? The general's on his way. Things got nasty in the upper city. We handled it. One less mess for the watch to clean up. Conviction document. Ronald Journal. So Timish thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent giving him legal immunity from the state seizing his good in case of plague. He carries it everywhere like a talisman, but he's also drafted the instrument of his own dis destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy but thankfully some of my old connections are still loyal. Now all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Timish to do it won't be easy. I may need help from a professional. Once that's done, the fool just needs a push to go down, and that's the second part. Inside Timish's basement, there's a device that circul circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I had to be particular about the actual material as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with plague and cause needless suffering. The unsavory gentle woman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange so I will be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I'm ready to make my move. Okay. Non-lethal, switch the documents in Timish's bell pouch. Hmm. Very charm. Drop assassinating someone gives you a bit of mana. Yes. Need these. Timish's state basement key. His lordship, the barrister, is up in his bedroom. Top floor. Don't make me describe what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> Timish is in his bedroom on the fourth floor. I want to go to apartment 10. Nice. What was that? Shit. Help. Fuck. Hold down already. Get behind him. <laughs> Yes, no one rang the alarm. Idiot. Firing. Chill. <laughs> Die. Fuck. Ah! All right. We're fine. We're good. All right. Now I can go about my. No. I was going to say, now I can go about my business freely. Alright, part the 10. Ew. Alter scribblings. This one worked so hard, he broke both of his hands. When he was of no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died, after which he turned to begging, then he died. This one was a father. He hired, he sighed six of three mothers. He drowned one of them, but it was not his fault. One day the child's grandfather discovered what happened. But the old man did not agree with that assessment. Okay. This one killed to carve wood. Once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and kept it in his pocket. He grains 
It's Grains knew all of his secrets, just as I do. <laughs> this one was a teacher. She used to teach the children about the black-eyed one she saw in her dreams. No one knew, but then one of the children went into a trance and began to cry her name. Then the overseers came. What an idiot. Odor sat. Yeah. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. Place a sack inside the air circulator. Ooh. The outsider. Move. <laughs> An apartment somewhere near Timish's, Timish's estate leads back to the rooftops of the waterfront. I've always wondered, mm. what does he smell like? Rotting flesh, wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. You're not a chosen one. You just have some of Dad's power. I hope he dies a lingering death. Yes. Here's one last lesson for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. Hmm. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead. And the water's rising. You left a mess on the killing floor, Dowd. I guess you know by now these things have a way of catching up with you. But maybe you're past caring. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. Alright, we have one rune. So we need five to get level two. Summon a master assassin to fight by your side. Okay. I think, um, so Ben time is eight in the base game. It, I mean, six in the base game, it was eight. I'm pretty sure. Blink. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I want to go lethal for this one. Um, I want to kill Timish. <clears throat> Plus there's all that stuff in there as well. Alright, oh we can just go in here. Alright, there's a park pile on there. signs of the sickness bug ah. someone else
going down. Alright, oh. Oh, no. Assassin, help! this big more urn okay it's fine what's this is that anything no <laughs> just trash a uh, repair notice staff barrister timsh timsh oh it's not timmyish it's timsh barrister timsh that's so hard to say timsh was complaining about squeaking in these doors so they've been removed until the repair Order comes in. Please don't throw anything down the shaft or do anything childish management. <laughs> childish stuff. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils, and they, as you know, are on the do not touch list. It's hitting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means. Note from Timch. Scott, do we really need that alarm device in my office? It's ugly, the colours clash, and the cable is marking up the woodwork. I am positively certain that the way it's been attached to the floor will cost a few thousand in coin to mend. Arnold. Alright, so there's a rune in there. So he's up on the fourth floor. So let's go down. No, to go. I understand you're concerned about security, but I trust in the security of a key hanging from my own belt, not a combination lock. A combination lock can be guessed, cracked, or bribed. But it's with a simple lock and key, the contents of my archives remain safe. As for lockpicks, a fable. I've never known such a thing to truly exist. Have you? Yes, I have. Mm. Note from Captain Blossom. Kitchen, the tomatoes in yesterday's dinner were overcooked. You know how much I hate overcooked tomatoes. I like them crisp, without that mushy consistency. Am I clear? Please don't ruin my dinner again. Captain Scott Blossom. <laughs> Mr. Blossom. <laughs> Ooh. Bone charm. Five of five. Food heals you moderately more. Okay. Well, does ammo, ammo just, is just bullets, yeah? I'm assuming so. So we'll take that out and we'll put food who heals you moderately more. We'll do that. Actually, let's get rid of fall damage. We don't really fall. You find ammo, yeah. Cool. There's the air circulator. I don't want to do that. Oh, wow. Those grapes did so much restoration. Restoration. 
We don't need Piero anymore. We just need food. <laughs> 78 card tarot deck. Draw a card. Draw a random. You draw 10 of skulls. Okay. You draw the 7 of skulls. You draw king of pistols. You draw the nine of rats. Okay, does this do anything? You draw regret. <laughs> you draw death. The queen of rats. I mean, eventually you're going to get through the whole deck, you know? <laughs> All right, there are people. That's an interesting painting. I can't read what that says. Oh, some new artwork is always nice to see. Hmm. <sighs> it's been a hard week, and I get so terribly depressed sometimes. Tim carries an important key with him at all times, yeah. You always make me smile, even in spite of everything. Thank you, sir. I try. Oh my and god. how is your mother? Or do you mean the situation in the city? I'm not sure I quite understand what I'm doing Just here. listening. Things have been hard. The Lord Regent depends on me to help control the spread of the plague. These aren't easy decisions. This document I carry granting me legal immunity isn't a blessing. It's a burden. Carries so much responsibility. We all depend on you, sir. There you go again. Making me smile. I have an idea. Why don't you stay at the house tonight? I'll be working late and there's more than enough room in my chambers for a delicate creature like you. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, it's no bother. We can share a bottle and pass the dreary hours together. I couldn't. My husband will be waiting. Hmm. It's only just occurred to me. The late coach isn't running tonight. It's not my fault. It's the regent. He said to keep it standing by, uh, just in case I'm needed. But sir, I live out past the old walls. That's why I needed it. I know. That's why I'm concerned. The plague's headed west this past week. I've heard of weepers on Market Street, even on Finfic Lane. I'd hate to think of you making that walk alone, but you oh. just, I suppose we all make our decisions. Yes, that's true. Sir, I think it would be my pleasure to stay with you tonight. Good, then it's settled. I think I'll start the evening with a bath. Until then, feel free to relax. You're off duty for now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll just relax. Have a drink, maybe. It could be a long night. Well, don't worry, maid. I'm going to take care of him. Shit. I need to put her to sleep. <laughs> Letter from a doctor. Barrister Timsh, I'm afraid I cannot in good conscience remain your mother's physician. The way you repeatedly deny her access to practices which should potentially we could which could potentially restore her lucidity is nothing short of a death sentence. And I wish no part of it. Good day to you, sir. Dr. Partridge. Letter from Ronald. Dear Arnold, thank you for inviting my wife and me over for dinner last week. We both had a splendid time. I also appreciate you being so patient with, with her episode. Not many people are so under, are understanding and you showed considerable grace. I'm also happy I was able to confide in you with my business arrangements. I'm sure you will be able to keep them strictly confidential, but it was a relief to find, finally be able to vent about the frustrations I must endure daily to a colleague who understands these sorts of things. 
I hope that you will allow me to return the favour and play host to you for an evening. Sincerely, Wiles Ronald. Ronald and Arnold. Shit. Nice. Am I, can I listen to this? That's how I should be able to. Mother, this is Arnold. If you happen to awaken while no one is present, I've prepared this for you to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. Oh, yes. Five of seven. All right, we have two. Statue of Delilah. Who are you? Talk. I understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessamy when we were girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. I hope that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters, who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming. And I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. Mm -hmm. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. Can I break it? You yeah, might hear me though. <laughs> there you go, bitch. Awesome. Wondered Gil Galvani with Paul. You're safe now, hopefully. As safe as you can be. God. Six of seven. Here we go. Well, That's testing. strange. Tim doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. Where are the subtitles? We have one more rune left. I don't know where it is. Do you have it? Return to the legal district waterfront to me. Oh no! Nothing. Huh? Oh fucking hell. I tried to I tried to spare you. Okay. Your uncle is dead. This is his will as agreed. Uncle's dead. I've killed now, haven't I? My how odd that feels. But you were promised information. Well. My uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter and artist. Beneath my family's class for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. 
He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. God. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, Dowd. So much for the good barrister. He had it coming, though. Men like him can never trust anyone. His own niece turned on him. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's go home. Hostiles killed 31. Alarms rang 3. Alright, 6 of 7 runes. I couldn't find the final rune. I didn't know where it was. All bone charms. Outside a shrine, 2,800 coins out of 3,100. Raided all of Timish's chests. Spoke with Delilah. What was that about? That's very, that was very weird. Yeah, so like I said earlier, I'm finding this DLC a little bit more difficult than the base game. Which is fine. Um, oh my god, the first mission with the Butchers. They were insane. So yeah, definitely harder than the base game. Um, I don't know. I'm not one for post-game game content. I, I don't really enjoy it. I don't really find much value in it, really. But, you know, um, this is fun. I'm having fun. Um, yeah, the, the stories are very weird. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this Delilah person. Yeah, um, I don't know. Let me know what you thought of this DLC. It doesn't really seem to be really a part of the main story. I mean, it kind of is because it's all done well, you know. It's the Empress and the, you know, the aftermath of her death. And now we're following the person who killed her. So, yeah, it is quite, it is interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Did you play this DLC? I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it's Dishonored. I really like the gameplay. A little difficult. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.